That's the royal carriage right there. Today, we are dining with kings, kings and, queens and queens and princesses, and princesses of, the of the court. I'm eating at White Castle for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, that is the White Castle building. You can't see the logo, but that is the building. It might not look like much, but yeah, it just doesn't look like much. We're gonna be taste testing a lot of menu items, eating a lot of grease. <laughs> it's a dream. Fun fact, did you know that the Burger King used to live at White Castle until he married Dairy Queen to unify their countries? And now he lives in the land of milk and cream. We're about to get into the drive-thru to have White Castle breakfast. I've never had White Castle breakfast food in my life, so I'm so hyped. But first, guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me in my whole career. Do it for the dainty king himself. Also subscribe if you're new here. I make food content, fast food content, restaurants, hotel food. It's a great time. Okay, let's go. I'm hungry. You would think kings and queens would be eating, you know, grapes, prime ribs, lobsters, but no, no, no. At White Castle, they eat tiny little onion burgers. Okay, so um, I saw on the breakfast menu that they have this like, this like waffle slider and a little burger slider. So I'm just gonna try a lot of things. Welcome to White Castle, how can I help you? Uh, yes, um, can I please get a um, Belgian waffle slider? Bacon or sausage? Sausage, hash browns, a medium. And what's going to be your drink? Um, a Diet Coke. Anything else for you? And um, can I also get a breakfast slider? Bacon or sausage? Bacon. Bacon? Yeah. Anything else for you? That's all for now, thank you. Last time they asked me for my name and I was fully prepared to do my stuttering techniques and push it out of my mouth and my lungs, but they didn't ask for it, so that's that's great. Last night I watched live action Cinderella and it really put me in like a castle mood. I love that movie so much. I'm gonna leave my um, chongleta, my flip flop, right at the front of the drive through window so the prince can find it. Hi, Hello. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited guys. Like, Thank you. I am so excited, guys. This is the first time that my taste buds are gonna experience White Castle breakfast. That is mine in the prince's master bedroom right there. I've had multiple dentists tell me that I grind my teeth at night. I've never done anything about it. I'm just waiting for them to crumble. <laughs> that was random, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay, here's the little hash brown nibblers. Okay, they look good. I think one has a piece of cheese on it. <laughs> okay, so this is the breakfast slider. I thought that this came with a burger in it, but I guess that was sausage in the picture, and I chose bacon, so it makes sense. It has an egg, cheese, and bacon in a burger bun. That might taste kind of weird, I'm not sure, because I've never had like a breakfast sandwich in a burger bun, ever. Hold on, she gave me two of these Belgian waffle sliders, and they're at the parchment pipe. <laughs> okay, I mean, did I pay for it? Oh, oh I paid, I for, paid it. for it. I can bring it home to Alejandro. Let's see how this Belgian waffle actually looks wow it isn't that golden brown but like the texture kind of looks delicious to me um the sausage ah! stop it honestly it's a lot bigger than their sliders this is almost like a real sandwich size that's great let's first try hash brown mm. okay huh they're fine <laughs> hey, sir. Are you looking at me? He looked back at me. <laughs> they always look back. These aren't bad, but they're not great either. I've had much better hash brown pieces. So the texture is honestly fantastic. They're extremely crispy. Hear that? But the flavor is not that great. They have basically no salt on them they never journeyed through the salt caves they just taste plain also the oil flavor i wouldn't say is rancid but i would say tastes a little bit stale like stale oil just a smidge it doesn't taste like super fresh crisp hash browns it tastes like old oil no salt crispy hash browns i'm not impressed yet so i'm gonna give them a five out of ten next up let's try the breakfast slider with the bacon this is her there's her little pig friend on the inside and here's her little chicken bestie it has two slices of bacon on it not not bad for such a small slider and the egg does look freshly fried it does look real so that is a good sign it doesn't look like a like a foamy processed yellow disc minion disc 
<laughs> that was the nastiest squish I've ever heard in my entire life. What? I am shocked. Call me flabbergasted. Visually, that sandwich looked extremely basic, like it wasn't gonna have any flavor, but it really does. I gotta say, the hamburger bun actually worked. I've noticed a lot of breakfast sandwiches can be very heavy, especially like biscuit sandwiches, but this is a very light breakfast sandwich. It's very cloudy with the chance of a meatball. Your teeth just sink into it, and the bread really lets the fillings shine, you know? So the egg tastes totally real, totally fresh, freshly cracked on the griddle. The bacon is the main star here. It really brings in the flavor. This isn't just any old bacon. This is like extra salty, extra flavorful, perfectly crispy bacon. I was so impressed by that. It really carried the sandwich. And the American cheese added that saltiness and a little bit of ooey gooeyness that just really brought everything together, literally. Made it all stuck together like a blob of glue. I am giving the breakfast slider a nice, strong eight out of 10. Very, very good. So much better than I thought it would be. Oh my God, big daddy. Now it is time for the Belgian waffle slider, the main event of breakfast. All these men around me, my goodness. Mm. What in the world? Oh my God. Ah! That! Waffle sandwich was mind-blowingly good. Incredible, absolute perfection, never the same. The waffles themselves do not taste like your typical waffle. They taste like boxed cake batter that has been poured into a waffle maker and turned into a waffle. It truly tastes like sweet, sweet cake. And you might be thinking to me, that sounds disgusting with a chicken egg. But let me tell you, it works so well. It's so fluffy, light cake, and the sweetness with the saltiness from the sausage and the creaminess of the cheese, just truly incredible. Also, like the sausage itself has such a good, strong breakfast sausage flavor, great texture. I am so impressed. That waffle sandwich is a 10 out of 10. Wow. One of my new favorite fast food breakfast sandwiches, for real. Other than the hash browns, Breakfast was very impressive. I am so glad that I finally got to try it and I can't wait for lunch. We're gonna try so much of the menu. It's, it's gonna be a great day, so stay tuned. I will see you in a few hours. Okay, girlies, we are back. It's lunchtime. To be honest, I am hungry, but my stomach already, just after one breakfast, does feel a little greasy. Wait, someone's getting out of their parking spot. You can go. Go ahead. You can go a little faster. Thank you. So yeah, I already feel a little bit greasy in my belly, but we're just gonna push through. I'll take an Alka-Seltzer later. <laughs> I definitely need to get one of the main cheeseburgers. They're just iconic and I need that flavor. Swimming on my taste buds. And I also wanna get some sort of chicken, maybe like, like a chicken sandwich. And of course we need sides, a dessert. Come on, belly, man up, get through it. Rub some dirt in it. <laughs> I'll be you one moment. Okay. Uh, yes, um, can I please get a cheese slider? And can I also get um, chicken and waffles, mozzarella sticks, a five piece? No problem. And cheese fries? Cheese fries, no problem. And, and can I also get a um, brownie on a stick? And water, and that's all. All right, would you like to run up self support myself for teenagers? Sure. Okay, thank you. No problem. The um, speaker was a little muffly. I don't know what I just donated to, but it's something good. We love that. And I did get water just to kind of balance out all the grease in my stomach, wash it away. Oh, 
Hello. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, they passed me the food. It was the same girl for breakfast. But she didn't say anything. Love that. Oh, oh. It's also good. I can smell the onions on the cow. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Um, ranch actually and zesty sauce. I'm sorry about that. Ranch and Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. This icon, this legend, gave me like a billion sausage. Oh, we stay. Sausage? <laughs> Did I just say a billion sausage? Wow. That really is what dreams are made of. I'm just kidding. Um, she gave me a billion sauces. <gasps> Oh my gosh, all the comments are gonna say a billion sausage. A girl, be an ally, sis. Please, oh my god, girl, you have a stop sign. You slow down. Let's open up the sauces first. Your zesty, oh, look at that. The zesty sauce is like a horseradishy, like onion ring sauce. I had to get it. Ranch. Here we have the mozzarella sticks, oh. The cheese fries. Oh my gosh, I have only had um, White Castle's loaded fries. I've never had their cheese fries. We have the fudge dipped brownie on a stick now. I have had the strawberry cheesecake version of this. Groundbreaking, amazing, changed my whole life. So I'm hoping that the brownie version slays. Cheeseburger, just so iconic, so simple. And last but not least, the chicken and waffles. I just had to get another waffle item. Let's first try the cheese fries. Oh! <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh! Welcome! Ah, these cheese fries are absolute perfection. I think that the loaded fries had some issues when I got them, but these cheese fries are it. The fries themselves are crispy, simple, salted, salted. flavorful, crinkle-cut fries. Just the perfect base for good cheese sauce. Now, the cheese sauce tastes like a high-quality, processed nacho cheese sauce. So not, not like gas station nacho cheese sauce, like real nacho cheese sauce, but it's still processed like the good kind, you know what I mean? What did this man just say? What in the nacho cheese nonsense was that? Mm, mm-hmm. Let me dip a fry into the ranch. Mm, the ranch is kind of tangy. Well, it makes it kind of taste a little different. I like that. Zesty sauce. Mm, oh my God, yeah. These cheese fries are a 10 out of 10. Now it's time for the classic cheeseburger. I have had this multiple times. I'm in love with it. It's just simple. It has the beef patty, onions, and cheese. If you haven't had a White Castle burger, you might be thinking, just onions and cheese, Timmy. That sounds so dry and like nasty. Snip it. Snip it. Have you guys seen Golden Bachelor? Snip it. The meat and the onions have so many juices that it really makes the burger so moist. And then the cheese adds a creaminess. Oh my God. Oh, and there's a pickle on it too. Mm, mm. Oh my God. 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 Huh. Mm. The main flavor is onion. But it's not the type of onion that smells like B.O. It's <laughs> it's like a sweeter onion, a lighter onion, and it really gives this simple burger so much flavor. The beef patty is so thin. It came from the daintiest cow, and the cheese is so creamy. Oh, it's just it's perfection. 10 out of 10 once again. Wow. Lunch is eating so far. <laughs> Let's try the mozzarella stick. Oh my Oh, hello. Oh. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Let's try with the zesty sauce. I have a feeling. Ha! Mm. Oh, no, Mmm. <laughs> so, let me just say the mozzarella sticks with the zesty sauce are a 10 out of 10, but. I have to judge the mozzarella sticks on their own. Are they bad mozzarella sticks? No. Are they amazing? No, they're good. They definitely get the job done. If you're craving mozzarella sticks and you get these, I think you will be satisfied. <laughs> but you won't be shooketh. They taste like really, really good frozen mozzarella sticks. Like the more expensive ones in the frozen aisle. The ones that you're like, oh, should I get this today? Let me treat myself. But they don't taste like restaurant or even fast food mozzarella sticks. They just taste like supermarket ones. And that is not a horrible thing, but it's not a great thing either. So I'm gonna give the mozzarella sticks a cute six out of 10. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Time for chicken and waffles. So the chicken and waffle sandwich has the waffles. Once again, the cake waffles. Duncan Hines, Oh, It has a chicken patty and it has bacon. I think that's it, it's very simple, but. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Zesty sauce. Hmm. Um. So, once again, the boxed cake waffles are fabulous, truly unique, riveting. riveting. And the bacon, once again, adds a lot of flavor, just like with the breakfast version. The chicken doesn't add much. The chicken basically tastes like one big, kind of flavorless chicken nugget. It just. You know how like even though like Wendy's chicken nuggets have like a foamy texture, they have their own distinct flavor and like McDonald's chicken nuggets are like trash, but they have their own distinct iconic flavor. This nugget has the same texture as those nuggets, but it doesn't have an iconic flavor. It just tastes like plain chicken. And so I would just rather get the breakfast version again, because at least that had like the slice of cheese, the egg, and those really brought something different. But this foamy chicken nugget really just kind of drags the whole sandwich down, even if the waffles and the bacon are both amazing. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give the chicken and waffles a five out of 10. It was still good, thanks to the waffles, but could have been a lot better. So now, let's try the fudge dipped brownie on a stick. Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like those like seven mini chocolate covered gas station donuts. Oh, oh, I love those so much. I could eat them every day. You can see the brownie there. Here you go. Mmm! Oh. Mm. oh my god. That knows who it wants to be. It has the self-confidence, the dignity, the drive to be that brownie on a stick. And that's what it is. It made history. First of all, the texture is so extremely chewy. And then with the uh, fudge dip on the outside, it just becomes almost like a ganache vibe. And the inside's chewy, so it just, it just becomes this chewy, delicious, rich blob in your mouth. Now, it is rich, but it's not too rich. It's just the right amount. It isn't a billionaire, but it's got like 500 million. You know, the flavor is like classic brownie. Better than like a boxed brownie, a little bit better. It isn't like the best brownie ever, but it's a great brownie, you know? And the fact that it's on a stick makes it so fun to eat. Also like the portion is just perfect, stunning. That brownie's a 10 out of 10, wow. Lunch truly ate. Almost everything was amazing. A few things were like mediocre, but nothing was bad. Anyways, now I'm actually very full. So I'm gonna take this food home and I'll see you guys at dinner. And yes, I'm getting the strawberry cheesecake on a stick. That's for sure. <sighs> Any boogies? No. Okay, besties, it's dinner time. It's past 5 p.m. I am struggling. You guys know, I have a stomach of steel. I have eaten at so many restaurants for 24 hours and I rarely ever get a stomach ache. If I do, it's like after all three meals. But after breakfast and lunch here at White Castle, I just start feeling really icky in my belly. Like, disgusting, you know? And it is 5 p.m. I, I still have the stomach ache. I still feel very greasy. And so this is my little disclaimer. If you have a stomach ache, don't eat more junk food. That's not good for you, don't do it. Don't do what I'm about to do, <laughs> okay? I might not eat a lot, I might just have a very light, tiny little meal, but I am gonna finish this challenge, okay? This is my career. And you know, it isn't supposed to be easy, that's why it's called a challenge, right? Um, I'm definitely gonna try that 19 whatever burger and a few more sides, I guess, and the cheesecake. Oh my gosh, guys, there's an impossible slider. I have to try it, I did not know that. I just didn't know it was possible. Go ahead when you're ready. Um, can I get a 1921 um slider, an impossible slider, and um onion chips, uh six piece chicken rings, and um a cheesecake on a stick. And that's okay. all. And it's gonna be 1592, y'all. Thank you. You know, you know, I'm gonna enjoy this food. My stomach might not, but my mouth will. I might honestly just like take a bite of each thing and I'll just save the leftovers for tomorrow or something like that, okay? I'm gonna be careful with this with this meal. Oh my gosh, guys, I had turned my camera off because I'm like 10th in line. And all of a sudden, one of the White Castle employees came up to my car and was like, Timothy? And I was like, yes? And he was like, 1629. And I was just confused because I didn't know that um, I was supposed to pay all the way in the back of the line, which is totally fine with me. I was just confused. Anyways, he's coming back now. Thank you so much. You too. He called me boss. Oh. Thank you so much. You too. You know, it actually smells kind of good right now. It's kind of making me hungry. <laughs> By the way, I think that the 1920 whatever burger 
has like a thick patty. I don't think I've ever had a thick patty from White Castle. And it has like a bunch of fresh toppings. It's very different. Let's first! We have the onion petals. Oh my gosh. We have the strawberry cheesecake. We have the impossible slider, which I've never had. I'm so nervous. Oh my God, look at that. It smells different. This is the 19 whatever burger. See, it does have a thicker patty right there. And it has like lettuce and tomato and all the things that White Castle typically doesn't have. I really forgot about sauces. I really did. I can't. Here's the chicken rings. I have had these, but I forget if I like them or not. Oh, oh you shouldn't have. chicken rings aren't bad. They remind me of Wendy's chicken nuggets a lot, just with a bit less flavor, a bit less pizzazz. First of all, the ring shape is very interesting. I guess that they're just trying to be unique and not like the other girls. But to me, it's just giving donut made of a farm animal. Is that appetizing to you? Me neither. The breading is crispy. They don't taste that oily. So we love those things. They just really don't have that much flavor. It's just kind of disappointing. Also, I think that the chicken might be a little extra tough. It's just a bit chewier than your typical chicken nugget. I'm going to have to give the chicken rings mm, a 4 out of 10. They could be a lot better. Now let's try the 1920 whatever burger. So this is it. Look at that. Okay, it has a very thick slice of tomato. They said, eat your vegetables. Wait, that's a fruit. They said, eat your fruit cobbler. It has pickles, a little shrivel of lettuce, cheese. Ooh, grilled onions on the bottom. That's different. It isn't like the little onions that are typically on the patties. Um... This is the texture of the meat on the inside. Um, I did not like this at all. It was actually nearly rancid. This tastes nothing like White Castle. First of all, the meat itself really just has no flavor besides like fat. It just tastes like beef fat. It doesn't taste salted. It doesn't taste peppery. It does not have the iconic onioniness that the patties typically have. Now, there is a different type of onioniness that I don't like, and it's coming from these caramelized onions right here. It's giving brown sugar fermented French onion soup from 1802. And I don't like that. That is the main flavor plus beef fat. It just doesn't taste like it belongs on the White Castle menu because it just, there is no similarity to any other item. And it's good to have variety, but when the variety is serving ancient onion, I would rather have more of the same. Also, the vegetables just don't taste fresh to me. They taste mushy. Like the tomato tastes overly ripe. It's just not a good burger to me. This is a two out of 10. I'm sorry. I did not enjoy that whatsoever. Next up, let's try the onion petals from the onion rose. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Jimmy, slow down. Your stomach's gonna hurt more. Hmm. They're not great, but they are decent. I love onion rings. I personally think that the best fast food onion rings are from Dairy Queen. Amazing, incredible. These aren't bad. I feel like the onions on the inside do taste pretty fresh to have a good bite to them, you know? For some reason, the batter really holds a lot of oil. It really sinks into it. And so even though they are crispy, it's like an oily crispiness, you know what I mean? Unlike the chicken rings, which really held no oil whatsoever. Also, I feel like they have a bit less flavor than your typical onion rings. I feel like they're just a little bland and they're not salty enough, but they still taste like an onion ring and they're still good enough to eat. So I will say that, but Dinner is just not eating. And it's not because I'm not feeling good. I don't want to see comments about that. I know there's going to be some. I just think I saved all the worst items for last, which is not the way I, I want this video to end. I'm going to give the onion petos a 5 out of 10. They're not too bad. Now we have the impossible slider. Oh, wow. It also has a tomato and lettuce and pickles and the grilled onions. Oh, no. Not those dumpster veggies. Okay. Mm. Let me 
can tell you it wasn't perfect because it still had those wilted veggies on it. It still had those ancient onions on it, but the patty itself is much better to me than the 1922 patty. It doesn't have the beef fat flavor, but it does taste like meat, I have to say. And I guess because it's so thin, that's probably helping it because if it was thick, you would probably be able to tell from the texture and the flavor that it's not meat. But that's a great option if you're vegetarian. Like, to be honest, it is serving burger. So I think I'm gonna make the impossible possible and I, I, I'm gonna give the impossible burger a nice strong eight out of 10. It really is not bad besides the wilted veggies. Last but not least, we are for sure gonna end on a good note. So I've had this before, it's amazing. We're gonna eat the cheesecake on a stick. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. It, <laughs> how dainty and adorable, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my god. Huh. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. That is better than most cheesecakes. I'm not even joking. The crust underneath tastes like a big softened Oreo. The cheesecake texture itself is a little bit more frozen than your typical cheesecake, but it's still soft enough that like you can bite through it. And the flavor is just a classic, delicious cheesecake. It's not too rich. It's just sweet enough. And it's just tangy enough from that cream cheese. And the strawberry adds a burst of brightness, summeriness, berryness. It is truly a perfect dessert. It's a 10 out of 10. So this is my final dinner average score. Now, future editing Timmy is going to average together breakfast, lunch, and dinner scores so that we can get one big final average score. So here is my final White Castle score. What do we think? Even though dinner was mostly a flop, I had a fun day. I'm gonna go home, put all this in the fridge, rest my belly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite thing to get at White Castle. Subscribe. I'll see you next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.